Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-Level Further Maths. Here we're looking at how we would find the determinant of a matrix so we can answer questions from exercise 6c. So, why would we want to work out the determinant? Well, that's going to come in later videos. Um, the determinant is useful for two things. What well, first thing is helping you to find the inverse of a matrix, or effectively that's leading you on to how you would kind of divide by matrices. And another thing that determinants are useful for is when you use them to um, translate uh, coordinates and translate shapes, the determinant is representing the area scale factor of your transformation. Now, we're not going to cover any of those two applications in this video. We're just going to look at how do you work out the determinant. The determinant is a value that can be attached to a square matrix. So we can only work out determinants on squared matrices, um, square matrices such as this. Now, we're working on ultimately towards how we find the identity matrix. Now, the identity matrix is basically, uh, it's kind of like the number one, but in matrix form. So it's one and a one down the leading diagonal, and then zeros in all other positions. So for the I3 matrix, it's one down the leading diagonal, and zeros in the other positions. This is effectively like um, if you were to multiply a matrix by I, or the I2 or the I3, you would end up with the same answer that you have multiplied, the same matrix that you multiplied by um, at the start of the question. So it's effectively a bit like multiplying a matrix by one. Now, um, this, this is what we're going to be leading to. How do we multiply a matrix by another matrix to work out what the identity is? And on the route to doing that is working out um, the determinant. So for a 2x2 two two matrix, the way that we work out the determinant is we do a bit of cross-multiplying and subtraction. So it's times together A and D, the cross leading cross um, product and then subtract the B and the C being multiplied together the other diagonal um, multiplied together so the determinant of a standard 2 by 2 matrix is AD minus BC so it's the leading diagonal subtract the other diagonal We've got a couple of different ways that we can notate this or a couple of ways that we can write this down is either det M M with two vertical lines either side of it, or the matrix with two vertical lines either side of it. Um, just a little bit of terminology here, you'll see why this is later on. When your determinant is zero, it has no inverse, and we call this a singular matrix. And if the determinant is not equal to zero, then it's non-singular, and in other words, it has an inverse. And we'll look at where inverse and non-inverse matrices um, happen later on. So getting on to how we calculate the determinant. Calculate the determinant of the matrix A here, 6, 5, 1, 2. So just apply the rule of 6 times 2, take away 5 times 1. So that's 12 take away 5 equals 7. So the answer here is 7. The determinant of matrix A is 7. Okay, so that's that's all we're going to cover for now, how we calculate the determinant. It's not much, but it's going to be useful later on in other videos. Calculate the matrix here is a bit more difficult. Got a bit of algebra in. 4p plus 2 minus 1, 3 minus p. So multiply the leading diagonal and subtract the other diagonal. Just be really careful because there's a negative 1 here. This will lead to some people getting confused with double or um, negatives. So just be a little bit careful about that. Um, given that this matrix is singular, find the value of P. So let's first find the determinant in terms of P. So 4 times 3 minus P subtract P plus 2 times minus 1. And given that it's singular, the determinant's equal to zero. So that's why we've got a zero on the left-hand side of this equation now. So simplifying this all together, taking a 3p onto the other side and dividing through by 3, we get 14 over 3 is the value for p. That's the value for p when a is singular, um, or in other words, when it doesn't have an inverse. 
We'll look at inverses later. Okay, so that's how we find the determinant of a 2 by 2. Pretty straightforward. Multiply leading diagonal, subtract other diagonal. Let's now have a look at finding um, the determinant of a 3 by 3. So here is the formula. Now there's multiple different ways of working out the determinants. What we've used is this top row here, and you can see here how these are the coefficients in front of the matrices that are formed here. Now how are these matrices formed here? Well for the first one, you take the value in the top left, A, and then effectively you cross out its row and its column. Okay. And then you look at the four values you've got left, E, F, H, and I, and you find the determinant of that two by two minor matrix. Okay, this is a minor matrix inside a three by three matrix, so you find the determinant of its minor. So that's E, F, H, I, you find the determinant of, and then you work across. So now you go to the letter B. Now B is going to go in front of the matrix of minors, so in front of the minor matrix that's formed when you cross out its column and its row. So D, F, G, I, D, F, G, I, you find the two by two of that matrix there. Okay. Now notice here how the B matrix needs a negative inside it. Now this comes from the matrix of cofactors that can be described like this. Okay, There needs to be a negative if you're going to use the, the minor matrix in this position here, from this position here. The first one was a positive, the second one's a negative, and the third one, that's also going to be positive. So it's not necessarily add all of these values together. In fact, it's a add, subtract, add, if you're going to use this top row here. If you're going to use the middle row, you're going to go with negative, add, negative. Carrying on to the C matrix now, so we multiply C by the minor matrix once we've crossed out the row and the column, so D, E, G, and H. So what you would then do after that is calculate the determinants on these matrices here and then multiply it by the coefficient at the front and then add all of your values together. I said that the third dimension matrix will be a lot harder to work out the determinant of, but it does get better with more practice. So let's have a go at this matrix here. We're just going to look first of all at find the minor of the element 2 in this matrix here. So finding the minor matrix here, that's going to be minus 1, 8, 6, 7, times that as, find the determinant of this, so it's going to be minus 1 times 7, take away 6 times 8, and we get final answer here of minus 55. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and work out the determinants of a 3x3 three three now. So we're going to use the top row. So it's going to be 1 times by, cross out the row and the column, so it's going to be 2, 1, 4, 3 as the matrix, as the minor matrix that we're going to find the determinant of. And then remember, as we go across to the second cell here, this is going to have a subtract in front of it. So take away two lots of, cross out the row, cross out the column. It's going to be 3, 1, minus 1, 3. 3, 1, minus 1, 3. Find the determinant of that afterwards. And then moving across the top row here from 2 onto 4. So it's going to be 4 times by, cross out the row, cross out the column, 3, 2, minus 1, 4. And that's the matrix that we're going to work with next and find the determinant of that. So now calculate the determinants. This is going to be 3 times 2 is 6, take away 4 times 1 is 4, so 6 take away 4 is 2. This one's going to be 3 times 3 is 9, take away minus 1. Now when you take away a minus 1, that's going to be positive 1, so that's going to give us a 10. 9 add 1 is 10. 
and then for the last one here it's going to be 12 take away minus 2 that's going to give us 14 and then add your results together and we get 38 so that's how you work out the determinant of a 3 by 3 quite a lot of steps there you have to effectively do three questions on a 2 by 2 plus making sure you've got all the right coefficients in the right places there Okay, so how would you do this question on your calculator? Well, first of all, you would hit the menu button and you would hit option number four on your calculator. That's the matrix mode button. You would then look at defining your matrices. So click on the number one key on your uh, keyboard to select matrix A that you're going to define. Click how many rows and how many columns you want. So you want a three by three matrix here. You'll be presented with a matrix full of zeros and then all you have to do using your keypad and your up and down and left and right buttons is to fill in the cells on that matrix. You then press AC to clear your screen and then hit the options button once you've cleared your screen and then scroll down to determinants. So you want, I think you will have had to have scrolled down to get to this point here. So option, scroll down once, get to option number two and it says determinant on it. It will then give you debt and then you've got to put the A uh, letter inside your bracket here and the way you select that is by going to options again and then selecting matrix A, so select key option number three, so press the number three button Press enter on your calculator there, you're now working out the determinant of matrix A, and that's 38, just as we had before. Okay, so give it a go on your calculator, pause the video, go back, find the matrix, and see if you can get it to work on your calculator. However, some questions are not able to be done on your calculator, for example, when they involve algebra. Um, we've got a matrix here. Find the determinant of A in terms of K. Well, let's go ahead and do that. And it's got a singular question in there. So let's go ahead and find the determinant here. So we're going to be working with the top row again. So it's going to be three times by the determinant of, minor, of the minor matrix once you've crossed out the row and the column. And then moving across, so we remember the middle one is a subtract in this case uh, based on the matrix of cofactors, just like we have up the top here. Now what you could have done here is to have used the bottom row here uh, or the middle row here, but make sure you use the correct cofactors um, on your coefficients here. So because we're using the top row here, it's positive, negative, positive, positive, negative, positive on the top row. If you wanted to use the second row, you'd have to go negative, positive, negative. Um, and you could even go down uh, the columns as well. So it could be um, zero would be a positive coefficient, two would be a negative coefficient, k plus three would be a positive coefficient as well. So going across, it's now take away k times by, cross out its row, cross out its column, and then the matrix of minor that appears there. So it's minus 2, 2, 5k plus 3. Calculate the determinants. So remember it's k times, so 1 times k plus 3, take away 2 times 0, subtract k times minus 2 times k plus 3, so take away 10. Work out and simplify the algebra, and we end up with. 2k squared plus 19k plus 9. So that's the determinant uh, in terms of k. Part B here is given that the matrix is singular, you should automatically be able to recall that singular matrix, the determinant equals 0. So now just set your determinant equal to 0 and find out what values k should be. So by doing a bit of factorising here, we know that k is either minus a half or k is minus 9. OK. All right, then, so your turn to have a go at these two questions here, then. Pause the video and try them out. 
All right then, so the determinant of this matrix here is going to be three times two subtract minus one times four. In this case here, it's gonna be six plus four, which is 10. So once you've got the hang of this and you've had lots of practice, it's actually quite a quick calculation to do. You become very familiar with it, but it does require a lot of practice. So make sure you have a go at lots of the questions from exercise 6C. Okay, um, for question 6B here, we've got a three by three and we want to work out the determinant of this matrix here. Uh, it'd probably be easiest to use the top row um, because we've got two zeros in there, which makes the question a lot, lot easier. So it's going to be zero times by, cross out its row, cross out its column, and the matrix of minor there will be two, minus two, three, one, four. And then remember the second part when you get into the middle here, it's take away four times by the determinant of five, three, two, four, once you've crossed out the row and the column. And then it's going to be add zero times by the matrix of the cofactor, no, the um, minor matrix here. So that's going to be five minus two, two, one. So these are all the um, minor matrices here once you've crossed out the row and the column. And now we just need to calculate this. Now the first one and the last one are obviously both going to be zero because it's times by a zero. And the second middle one here is going to be minus four times by five times four is 20, take away six. So the answer here is going to be minus four times by 16, which will give us minus 64. So the answer to the determinant of this matrix here is minus 64. All right, then. so as I say, you can do lots of practice at this. Please do lots of practice with this. Don't jump through this uh, exercise here. Make sure you um, have lots of practice at this because it is going to come in handy for when we eventually use them um, to find inverse matrices and to find scale factor enlargements. So this is how you calculate the determinant. Have lots of practice. And thanks very much for watching.